Now, US presidents past and present from across the political divide have paid tribute to one of the leading figures in the American civil rights movement, John Lewis, who died at the age of 80. He was one of the organizers of the 1963 March on Washington, where Martin Luther King made his I Have a Dream speech. Regina Vardenathan looks back at his life. John Lewis dedicated his life to fighting racism. He marched alongside Martin Luther King and lived to see a black president. Born in Alabama in 1940, John Lewis grew up in an America that was deeply segregated. I would come home and ask my mother, ask my father, why segregation, why racial discrimination? They would say, that's the way it is. Don't get in the way, don't get in trouble. But Dr. King inspired me to get in the way, to get in trouble. As a student activist, he became a close ally of Dr. Martin Luther King, fighting racial injustice with a message of non-violence. He took part in sit-ins against white-only lunch counters and was beaten by white mobs as he peacefully protested segregation on buses. You arrest me, you beat me, you throw me in jail. Well, what else can you do to me? In 1963, John Lewis was the youngest speaker at the March on Washington, where Dr. King delivered his famous I Have a Dream speech. Looking out over that crowd, I saw hundreds and thousands of young people, fresh from the jails of the South, fresh from the struggle, the front line there. We were ready. We were prepared to go back to the American South and fight the good fight. And so they did two years later, marching for voting rights for African Americans. They walked from Selma to Montgomery, Alabama, you are to disperse. where they were attacked by police. Those who stood by the 50th anniversary of that march, John Lewis had become a politician, known as the conscience of the US Congress. It is a rare honor in this life to follow one of your heroes. And John Lewis is one of my heroes. And it was Barack Obama who awarded him the Presidential Medal of Freedom, America's highest civilian honor, when he was 70. Thank you. Diagnosed with pancreatic cancer last year, John Lewis was seen at recent protests after the killing of George Floyd. We must keep the faith, keep our eyes on the prize. John Lewis lived through many chapters of the civil rights movement. His mantra was simple, never give up, never give in. John Lewis, who's died at the age of 80.